Hello. Hello! Welcome to Bad at Board Games. Well, he's bad at board games. <laughs> I'm Brad Blake. I'm Topher Ferguson. I'm trying to make him laugh. <laughs> <laughs> we're bad at board games, so you don't have to be. Today, we're going to be talking about our top 100 list, and this one's going to be 80 to 71. Or 71 to 80. Yeah, we're going to go down, though. So we're going to go from 80 to 271. That works. Not the other way around. That would be boring. Oh, I know what the best one is. <laughs> Click <laughs> goodbye. Let's let's work our way up to our least liked games. <laughs> We're gonna start at number one and go to a hundred. See how far you guys yeah. make it. Both of us would have a uh, terrible time when we do get up a little bit higher. Talk so. about zero retention. <laughs> I don't know. The bickering might get worse as we get higher. So, um, so Toph, what is your number eighty? Yes. My 80 is a game that I do not own, but Ashby does, and we have played it many times with him, and that is The Crew. It's a good game. It is. Nice little trick-taking game. Um, I enjoy card games a lot, and that one did not disappoint. So, yeah. And I would say I don't enjoy card games a lot, unless it's like, you know, Ace Spade, all those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I really enjoyed it. I, I found it quirky and interesting and fun, and just be like, oh, we didn't make it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like that it adds to not it's not just set collection but like you can't talk you can't like those little things i i yeah. enjoy about it yeah. yeah i thought that was pretty slick so good good choice yes my number 80 is azul so this is one of the first games i got for me and ara trying to get her to you know I have, have a couple, dark side. Well, a couple's board game night and such, and this didn't disappoint. I like the pieces. I think the quality's real well. I think this plays best, in my opinion, at two, because it gets a little bit more cutthroat about dropping tiles to somebody else's board. Mm -hmm. It's a fun game. Yeah, I enjoy it. It was on my list. It was a little bit higher um, towards the 100 end, Yep. but good game. Yeah, yeah I enjoy it. My number 80. Excellent. My number 79 is one that I think is going to grow on my list as we play it, but I recently got it November, December, or something like that. Um, and so I think it's one that you've enjoyed as well, yeah. and that is Fantasy Realms. Yeah, I could see it's not in my top 100, but I could see this being in my top 100 next year mm -hmm. as we play it more. As we play it more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's quick, which I, I like. You know, you sit down and play a quick game of it or play five quick games of it and and have some fun so um i like the mechanic in this and i actually played stone Myers red rising before i played this and i enjoyed the mechanic enough to say okay it's time to go get fantasy realms to see what's going on with it so yep. yeah good game i enjoy it so that's my number 79 and he lost i did lose this is so the games he loses to are interestingly lower <laughs> on his list <laughs> just pointing that out it's just, it's coincidence it's just coincidence it also tends to be the games that I'm like, hey, I bought a new game. We should play it. And then I bring it over and I lose. Radlands, <laughs> Fantasy Realms. There's so many of them. <laughs> yeah, you are better at this than I am. I really destroyed him. <laughs> it's an understatement. It's such an understatement. <laughs> anyway, the next one. Well, this this one was a disappointment to Toph, but it's probably still higher on his list than mine. <laughs> Mark Nova. <laughs> so, it, you want to talk about the t t power of Tom Vassell. I still think this is the only reason <laughs> this is as high on BGD is because of Tom. <laughs> I, it's a good game. It's a good but game. But I don't think it's in, like top 10 it's a good of game. BGG I'll, of all time. I'll give you my thoughts when we get to when it hits on my list, because it might hit on my list. But, but yeah, yeah. Hey, this is definitely a YouTube influencer. Big time. <laughs> and honestly, had I not watched any of the reviews on YouTube, it probably would be high, high, high on my list. Mm. Maybe not in top 10, but much higher than it is. Right. But I fell victim to the FOMO. fame. Yeah. yeah. Or the you know, FOMO, not FOMO. What's the hype? To the hype. And uh, it, it, was, it was a bit of a letdown. But yeah. great game. Great game. Yeah. That's my number 79. I like it. Better than Terraforming Mars. You had to go there. I do. Dagger to my always. heart. Always. This always. is what I put up with always. One of my favorite games. Sucks. <laughs> anyway, what's your 79? What's your 78? <laughs> Speaking of getting my heart 
crushed. I have not yet won at all any of the games I've played. What number is this? This is number 78. Radlands is an awesome game. Brad talked about it in the last list. So the 82 or 81 to 90 list, it made his list there. Um, I picked this up this last summer, June, brought it back and Brad destroyed me. And every time we've played it since, I have lost. And pretty terribly, mind you, I have lost. So that's what friends do, apparently. They destroy me. There you go. I pick winners. <laughs> and by winner, it's not me when I'm playing these games because I suck at these games. <laughs> All right. My number 78. Now, this has dropped a while. This was in my top 40 last year. And I... This was a couples game. This was a family game. And I think as you find other couples games or other family games, and these kind of drop down. This is a beautiful game. It's a nice polyomino. My wife will destroy anybody at this game. She's about as bad at this as Scrabble. Like, she's ultra Ooh, competitive at this game. Maybe I don't game. want to play this game then. <laughs> she, is, she, she takes this <laughs> game seriously. But it's a good game. Like, you know, and they've they've come out with other iterations. I think they've got a roll and write, which has done really well. But you know, we like this game. We play the family version. We don't even play the complicated version of it. And it's you know, I it's definitely a solid game is yeah, my seventy eight. I definitely enjoy the more challenging game than the family rules. Um, yeah. It might have made my list if I thought of it more as that challenging rule side. But it it fell on mine. I think it was on my top forty, or it was at least on my top one hundred last time, and it's now yeah. fallen off of the top one hundred. So. Yeah. Good little game. Number 78. 77. Okay. Yes, number 77. <laughs> this is a cutthroat game. I don't think it was intended to be, but it is a cutthroat game. Um, and there are actually multiple versions of this. So I'm going to wrap. Box. I like yeah. this game. I'm going to wrap all of them into them. But honestly, Evolution the Beginning, I like more than Evolution or some of the other iterations of the game. I know Oceans is a little bit more into in depth, but this little game is fun. Is fun. <laughs> I enjoy this a lot. We need to bring this back. I forgot how much I enjoyed it until I started pulling This is fun, especially when somebody's like, you're eating my anime. Yes. yes. It was fun. <laughs> I have another gaming group that I play with, and it has become this, we don't know how it happened, this running joke of one member of the gaming group completely destroyed another member's dragon. Literally, he made a dragon, a flying carnivore with something else. And somehow it ended up being the third party who is not cutthroat in the slightest, will not harm anyone, does not do any kind of, like, take that games. Somehow it became her destroying the other. And so it's just become this running joke with our ga other gaming group about, you know, eating the dragon, like destroying this, this dragon. It's a lot of fun. If you've not played any of the Evolution games, the beginning is definitely the least mechanically driven of them. But at the same time, it's probably the most fun. Yeah, yeah. It's fun. The others add things. They add complexity to that other things, but this is just straight fun. Yeah, so Evolution in the Beginning, that is my number 77. My number 77 is one of Tope's favorite games of all time, but I, it's a good game. Oh, yes. So Scythe, great game, great, you know, Stonemeyer put him on the map, right? So this is, this is a very good game. Mm -hmm. Just, and there's, not much I need to say about it. Most everybody's played Scythe and knows about Scythe. So, great game, great art. We have a review Number on 77. it. If you, uh, if you yeah, want to see a little if bit you want more. to see Tove's deep dive review on it and all his painted miniatures, check that out. It's really cool. Yeah. So fantastic game. Oh, yes, it is. Love it so much. I'm sad that it's this low on your list, but it's still is... a good game. I mean, this is not these, none of these games are garbage. No, not at all. I'm, you know, yeah, not at so. all. Good game. Okay, so that was your 77. So we're going on to my 76. Um, I like the horror theme, and uh, I have not yet played this new version of it. This is your son's version of it. Mine's the older version, but Betrayal at House on the Hill. Uh, great game. Uh, fun storytelling aspect of it. I love the haunt mechanic and how it changes the game in different ways, depending on what you're playing scenario-wise. I also like that you're building out this mansion, so it's not a game board that you see right away. Like, Death May Die, I definitely like a whole lot more in terms of exploring something and finding evils and all that kind of stuff. But I do like the exploration aspect of this maybe a little bit more than that aspect of like Death May Die or something similar. So mm -hmm. fun game. 
I want to play it with your with at least your son. I know that. Oh, that it's one of his favorite games. Yeah. yeah, that would be good. And so I definitely want to play it with him. And I want to see what this third edition brought mm-hmm. change wise, because I don't know what is different about this one so much other than new artwork, stuff like that. So um, but good game. Definitely enjoy. It is dependent on the group that you have, though. I will say that. I've had some games that I've not enjoyed so much, but for the most part, this is this is good. It's also good for bringing non-gamers into the hobby because it's so different. It was one of my gateway games. Yeah. Way yeah. back years ago. <laughs> Decade yeah, ago. Def- well, yeah. A long time ago. Yeah. Well, you are old, so. <laughs> All right. My next game. Great movie. I've watched the movie lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. <laughs> The reason it's this high, and this is my number 76, it honestly is because of just not being able to get the group as into it as I am. Um, finally got Tove to watch the movie, and I'm hoping that that will spark some more interest in wanting to play this. And so if I get to play it more, I might get to move up more. But right now it's it's sitting here mainly because I don't have a group that is is as interested to play this game mm-hmm. as I am. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to play it again now that I've seen the movie and maybe I'll understand what's going on. But yeah, I like it. I like it. It's on my list. It's higher, but it's on my list. Um, 75. 75 is a game that Brad had on his last list. We talked about a little bit, but Libertalia Winds of Galecrest. Um, this is Stonemeyer's reiteration of Libertalia. Um, and I think the only complaint that I have for the game is I'm not big on the new artwork, um, but some people are, it brings it more into an accessible realm, I think, with families, especially the mechanics are solid. It's a fun game. It really is. We did a review on it if you want to go check it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Excellent. So that is my number 75. 75. A little bit of cutthroat, but not a whole lot. So enough for me. Yeah, I didn't think it had, well, I didn't think it was cutthroat, but. Well, there's a couple little tiles that you can pick up that allow you to pick on other people. And some of the, yeah. some of the characters can attack others as opposed to just affecting yourself but yeah not much that's true so this next game i got at gen con well i shouldn't say i got it my son wanted it and we picked it up at gen con actually this is one of the, the opposite of gen con because typically everything costs full price this one was actually half price so what game is this that is never you've never played it no oh. oh i have not yet played it heavy hitters this is a fun mech game this is you know it's kind of I don't even know how to describe it, but in like the Hunger Games where you're able to get promos and things, you know, like the people would send you stuff. There's kind of that aspect in here where you're like, you're battling and then you're, you know, people are sending things down to you to help or whatever with, with the card flipping and things that you do. So this is a, this is a fun game. I, I kept expecting them to do some more, but I think this is what, a, yeah, this is what a workshops and Cryptozoic. I don't know if they'll ever come out with any more of it. There is a, like a, two mech expansion to this but kept i really i this was one of those i thought would there would be more Mm -hmm. and it just it just stalled i think this was like three or four years ago it came out but Mm -hmm. this is a fun game i I need to play it Mm -hmm. at some point i need to play it so excellent so that was your 75 that was my 75 yes excellent my 74 is garbage Hey, this was on your list. Hey, look, this was I, on your list. I had to make fun. I had to do I something. Know, I can't, know. can't be straight oh, laced yes. all the time. Oh, you straight laced? Please. Uh huh. Yeah. So, Fantastic Factories um, is my number. I don't even know where we are. Seventy four. Um, I enjoy the dice placement side of this, and I enjoyed at two players. I would like to see what this is like at a little bit higher player count, but it has some cutthroat aspects to it where you are taking some cards that people want you're mainly just building out your own factory um but you do have a little bit at least we played it this way of oh there's a card that's going to benefit you i'm going to grab that up right away well but Um, it's also a race to get things like because you don't you don't you know that's a good card i better get it Mm -hmm. you know and then he might have wanted it but you know yeah it's it's a fun one um I, i i'm not very good at it but I enjoy it a lot. So that says something when I'm not very good at it and I still want to play it and enjoy yeah. it. So, yeah. Um, there is an expansion I picked up over some of the holiday sales. Oh, really? um, yeah, it was only like $3. I was like, why not? Yeah. And then I realized it was the cutthroat, like, sabotage. Oh, really? Version. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to do even worse now in the game, but Brad's probably going to like it even more. There you so, go. yeah. There you go. That was your number 76? 74. 74. I'm sorry. I should probably looking at the wrong thing. Uh, my 74 
I like this game. I like this game better than the one that people seem to like more than the newer one. And it's Welcome to My Neighborhood. Uh, I think is the original. Don't, don't hold me to that. I know there's Welcome to Las Vegas and there's Welcome to the Moon. And Welcome to the Moon, I think, I don't like it. In, in the end, I tried to play it solo and I think the solo was horrible. I don't like Welcome to the Moon. I, I know that was like a big deal. I like this. I think this does this. What this does, it does extremely well. And in between a filler game and a real, you know, a full length right. game. And everybody plays simultaneously. I agree with you. I think this is much better than Welcome to the Moon. But I can see why people like Welcome to the Moon more, but I just like that one better. Yeah. I think this is more challenging too. So that's my number 74. Excellent. My number 73 was hit or miss. I had no idea if I would like this game. I think you actually picked up the first version of it. And then I picked because up a version. Because it was hot and everybody's been talking about it and yep. I wanted to try it. And then they came out with the Marvel Marvel version and I scooped that up and I actually like this more than the original. And that is Dice Throne. I'm going to wrap all of the Dice Throne into this slot. Um, but I think the Marvel Dice Throne, I, I think they did a better job with this. Balancing. Or just, yeah. Yeah. Just I would in general agree. with the, with the yeah. different characters and could be theme. I'm used to these. I know who these characters are and I don't know that. Like who is Pyromancer? Mancer, who is, you know, these different characters with the others. Um, but I do enjoy, I do enjoy these. Um, some of the Dice Throne people I've played, I have not enjoyed playing. And then like the monk, I don't enjoy playing the monk. Um, but other ones I really do enjoy a lot. So I, I think they did a very good job with this. It's a, relatively quick playthrough if you want something quick to play um good two player battler i've played this at three i've played it at four i do prefer it prefer it at two so yeah it's a nice game yeah dice throne any way you want it dice throne there you go <laughs> fun game this next game i keep hoping we're going to do a review of it and it keeps kind of getting pushed so we will get it sooner or later it's on deck um twilight inscription so I tried to get this at Gen Con and kept selling out. And I had high hopes for it because I wanted another Hadrian's Wall. I wanted this other roll and write that was just, it, this is not Hadrian's Wall. So, you know, I think from that standpoint, kind of like you with Ark Nova or, you know, like the you have the hype and you you want a thing. What this is, you know, Toph said he didn't want 10 hours of Twilight, in, Twilight Imperium. This kind of gives you Twilight Imperium in a couple hours. I like this so much more than Twilight. It Imperium. does do that, right? So like you have it like and I I can see where Twilight Imperium people are like absolutely not. It does not, but it does. You know, it has you know the the 10 rounds of things and that you know my my issue and I'll spoiler it a little bit is I think it's too long. Like that's the only thing about it that I that I complain I really have it on. I think it I think it needs to be a little bit shorter. Other than that, I think it's really nice. Yeah. It's much longer than but much lighter weight. Not much yeah. lighter weight, but lighter weight. You go weight from ten hours to two or three, oh, which yeah. is really three, then yeah, it yeah. is that. So that's my number seventy three. Yeah. I would rather play it than TI four, but I don't get the same feeling. I don't feel like I get the theme. It is that. I can get the theme, but it's not it's not the same. Yeah, it same. it isn't, but it's not Hadrian's Wall, which is what I wanted. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so my 72 is a fantastic game for bringing people into the hobby. At least I have seen that with anybody I've played this with. Forbidden Island, great cooperative. Uh, not my first cooperative I've played, but it's up there at some of the first cooperatives that I've, I've really played. Um, I've been playing this for a long, long time, and I still want to play it. Mm -hmm. So I enjoy it. You have it. I don't know how much you enjoy it quite so much. I don't think we've ever played this together. We haven't played it together. I used to play it with my kids, but I think I've outgrown it. It's not that I wouldn't play it again, but there's a lot of other games I would rather play. But at the same time, I love this. So he kind of outgrown it. I feel that way with some games, <clears throat> Catan. Um, but this one, I definitely, I don't know if I'll ever tire of playing Forbidden Island. I've tried some of the other Forbidden series games, mm -hmm. did not enjoy them as much. This is the one that I, I like the most. I, I don't know why. I love it. So, And that's your number 72? That is my number 72, yes. My number 72 is Ashby's game, and it's The Crew. I, I like that game. I think it's a nice, nice game. I think it was way higher last year, um, being that that's kind of when I first got to play it. But now with all the other games we're playing and things, 
it's it's dropped, but it's a good it's a good car, card game. It's one of my top card games, but I've got a lot of other board games that go ahead of it. Yeah, it's a great game. Mm -hmm. Love it. Excellent. So ready for 71? I am. I do not own number 71, but it is a fantastic game, although people complain about it being so fiddly. One of these days, I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to have a, a, a version of it. I'm spoiled because the first time I played it, the person who had it had all of the bling. All of the bling. And it's never going to feel the same without all of the bling. But a uh, game that I don't think we would table very much. It's a long game. It's a very fiddly game. It's a fun theme all put together, and that is Feudum. So if you've not played Feudum and you like those heavier weight, fiddly thinkers, long games, pick it up. If you don't like it, maybe stay clear of it. Um, but I, I definitely enjoy it. I think you would like it a lot. I think we could get people in our gaming group to play it. I but. keep seeing it at Gen Con every time I go there. You know, people are there. It's, yeah. it's got a cult following for sure. It, it does. And that's kind of the theme. It, that, that's the thing I've picked up. It has a cult following. It's not on the mainstream. It's not on the hotness. I think it has been. Um, but it's it's a lot of fun, but it's never going to see a game night because it just takes way too long to be it's kind of like Twilight play. Imperium. That's, it is just yeah. too long. It's a mm -hmm. it's a day commitment. It's the same with like Arkham Horror. You know, I want to play that so bad, but it's it's a commitment. You got to have some time to play it. So. And that's your number seventy one. Number seventy one. So this is the last one of the list. Yes. And I would have this one was going to be lower on my list, but then me and Ashby played it before Christmas again, and, and we had a blast. And I was like, this is how I want this game to play. Um, and that's Project Elite. It, you know, the experience that Ashby and I had at two players was like exactly what I was looking for out of this game. And it was a blast. And we lost by one movement <laughs> point. Like we couldn't get back. We lost by one. It well, was, you are bad at board games. But so. it was, but it was great. Like there was, I halfway through the game was like, there is no way we're winning this game. And then like, we kept like oh crap we did oh we got like it you know like it was impressive i, I the mechanic and how how we were ever able to pull that one off i couldn't believe it but i mean almost pull it off but you felt like at the end like we can do it and then we just one movement point short i'm sad because for some reason when i sorted my list out this did not make it into that sort there's been a couple of them that did not make it in the sort that would be in my top 100 this one probably would be in my top 100. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's fun. It was fun. Had a good time with it. So, yeah. beer and pretzel yeah. game. I bet it was fun. <laughs> beer so. and pretzel game. I don't know if I've ever heard that. Oh, that's what they say a lot about America tra America oh, trash America games. Oh, America trash games. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm not big on America trash games overall compared to like Euro games, but that one is one that is, is it's fun. It's good. Yeah, exactly. So. Excellent. Well, that is the next iteration of our list. So what'd you think? Did you enjoy our games? Have you played our games? Toph's list is definitely better, right? And if so, comment down below, Team Toph. We'd love to see that. Team Brad. Is not as, as always. Mm -mm. Team nope. Brad. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for sticking around. Like I said, we'd love to see your comments down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe so you will be notified as we get closer to our top 10 games of all times as of January 2023. Because of Team Brad. Team Toe. Just remember, no matter how you play, whether it's solo, with family, or friends, enjoy whatever games you are bringing to the table. Brad. Team Toe. Have a good night. Bye.